What's up, being? What are you doing? Is welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Build Me Hair. Okay, so in today's video, <laughs> so you can tell by the title of the video, we are cutting my hair. I'm cutting my hair. It's very unreal. Kevin <laughs> doesn't want me to cut my hair. <laughs> but um, I'm cutting my hair for one reason mainly, really. Um, so when I did my cornrows, right, for the wig, for the wig, right, and the wig, my hairstylist or the hairstylist that I went to do the cornrows, right, um, used heat on my hair. So my hair, when I was taking the cornrows out, my hair was breaking, was breaking so bad. So now, my hair just doesn't look healthy, doesn't feel healthy. This is the breakage that I got right now when I took, when I was combing my hair out, like, and while I was taking my hair out. So my hair is breaking terribly. So I wanted to like, cut my hair so I can just start over so that I can even have less to, to do my hair. <laughs> yeah, so I just wanna like love my hair again because right now I really don't like my hair. And my hair is pretty long. Mm. My hair is pretty long. And I want to go like short. Quite short. So that I can feel my hair again, so I can just start all over again. We're not cutting off completely, but we are cutting majority of the hair off, like at least sixty percent. So then it's going to be cutting my hair. Um, what do you, what do you, what is your machine called? Is called what is your machine called? No, like is it a hair cutting machine? Oh. Is that what it is? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. So we are going to be using his. This machine, <laughs> Safeway. Oh. Mm. I won't be using this machine to cut my hair, and I feel like Kelly is also just the perfect person to cut my hair because he's so meticulous and he does everything that he does perfectly. So I trust him with my hair, hundred percent. So, yeah. <laughs> Come, let's start. Mm -hmm. Come, let's start. Say hi, baby. Hi, baby. <laughs> Yeah, so Kevin's plan is to go is to gradually cut my hair, right? Cut my hair this short and then this short and then this short and then finally see how short I want it to get. Are you scared for me? No, I asked you if you are sure. If you are sure you want to do this. You are not sure you want to do this. I am sure, 100%. If it was even up to me, I'll cut a uh, water. But you don't want me to cut that short. Well, honey, the problem is it has a which one? The, my hair is actually like really bossy. And my, the fact that I can see through my hair is what I don't like. Very it's, bossy. It like bossy and like. Bushy. Bushy and bossy. Bossy is like all oh, thingy mushy. Now my hair is like so. Ditty in a shoe. So the, 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 the ends of the, the hair. The split ends, the ends also. And I don't like how, like, you see how the little hairs are showing me in my head earlier. No. The, 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 mm. She said that that could be a sign that my hair is actually also growing, you know, breaking. But like, I want to start just over, over the shortest that you go. So I can have healthy hair. That's just like... Who like, said that healthy hair doesn't break? Healthy hair does break, but like I don't like how my hair looks like and feels like right now. It feels so damaged. Did we cut my hair? <laughs> you don't need to cut your hair, boy. Or at least a bit. Only like, only like, yeah, you know. Maybe I want to cut my hair. Why? <laughs> 
Like only like a bit, like the ends, the ends. Then we cut again another time if 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 if, Baby, if the ends are. We are cutting my hair. No. Uh, you're, making it, you're making it so difficult. Well, even give you just something to do. Oh, what wow. <laughs> oh, it's up to you. I don't know what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do. It's so tasty. Maybe you're cutting like this. Yeah, it was cut at least. This is soft hair. This way it will move around. It's soft. <laughs> like check. It was cut. You may be going to be this kid. I mean. You know you cut. I started cutting my hair, so we just decided to section my hair and then use a scissor because um can I say that the machine the what my hair is soft to use scissors to use the machine so we are using scissors now so I have a mirror here do you think that even if we hold it like this it won't be able to cut no, 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 your hair is nice. So we've cut like this long. You can see that long off. Yeah, so far. Okay, I I made dinner in the Madam Bano, part and Yeah. Okay, let's see. Okay. We don't have a tactic. We're just cutting the hair. So I'm not gonna go as short as I thought I was gonna go because the baby doesn't want me to cut my hair like that. Let me see your toes. Okay. Looks fine there. Yeah. Oh, it's not like that. It's never gonna be like that anyways. And if you're getting it professionally done, I feel like it's fine. Mm. Yeah. So. The next one. I mean, don't play with me. Yeah. <laughs> don't play with me. Hey. Oh, you don't even cook to head and be condemned. Right? Ah, they put only under cook. Hey. Oh, look, not condemned already. They surely condemned already. You don't want me to go the short ones. So this is how long it was. Is there much difference? There is a difference, right? Like look at look at, look at the difference. Papa, yeah. Okay. Oh, you know, you're yeah, no, so oh, that we can start the process. You, you the height. So we can start the process because you mm. Mm. Yeah, even without pulling you can see Halim Kondo pin. Without pulling, or Guys, so can you say that we are going this height? Um, this length. How do you feel about it, babe? Mm, I feel like no, it's still like me. Yeah. <laughs> this guy, when I was telling this guy that I'm getting my hair, he was telling me that I'm not gonna like you the same. I'm not gonna look at you the same way. So that's why he's cutting the hair this length. I'm not sure that. 
What is leg? No, this leg. You see this leg? Half of this. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna uh, pack. You cut the split ends another time. Mm, yeah. We're gonna pack the back now. We just left with the back, so we sectioned the head to six parts. So now um, we're gonna cut the back. And then we'll be done. I can finally take a shower. A shower! <sighs> How does it look? Just fine, eh? Since this illuminations were visible on the first one from 18 September to 3 November. Come all the people in the media. Did you? Mm. Like, like how it was before we even started cutting. Telling you. That's how bad the hair was. I Meaning you cut it, you cut. No, the, the, okay. the, the, the evenness. Pip. Yes, you there. The length, but then. <laughs> Like, is it in the slow mode or is that in the order? No, it's the normal mode. I'm the normal mode. Like, it's gone. So, in total, it looks just the same. That's how bad the other hair was. The part. What? Part. What? what do you mean by look just the same? What do you mean? It does not look the same, baby. Mm. It looks better. You're part of yourself. You're part of yourself. You did a good job. I'm going to go back in. Collecting all my hairs. Hmm? How do you feel, sir, Baba? Me? Yeah. After I didn't cut the hair. You think you could have did a good job? I mean? Yeah, you think I'm so? Happy. I'm happy. It looks nice. I think it looks nice. I think it looks really nice. Baby. <laughs> Where are you recording my dirty hair? Baby? So this is the hair that I had lost before cutting my hair. Is this gone cut? No, it's not cut. This is cut. Meaning I lost this much hair before cutting. And then this is the one that was cut. <laughs> oh, that was when you were just when you were just untying your hair. Untying my hair. This is when I was uh, just taking. And, mm, this is when I was just taking my hair out and combing and combed now by the control of And then it's going to talk. <laughs> okay, guys, so we've come to the end of the video. I'm just gonna wash my hair. No, wait. I'm gonna show you guys my hair when I'm done with washing it. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna show you guys the hair when I'm done. Okay, bye. Mas eu vou curar! Okay, so, hi guys. So, I just wanted to come show you guys how the hair looks like. This is how it looks like right now. It looks so short, but I promise it's actually not that short. It's this short now. Um, yeah. I feel like I'll be wearing it like this majority of the time and um, it looks so short. I don't know how I feel about it. I guess it's gonna take some getting used to it. You see me looking like this in the streets, man. Just understand. <laughs> My girl is going through it with the hair. So, um, as you can tell I'm in the kitchen, I'm trying to whoop something up for the memes so that I feed him and you know, so that I also eat. I'm almost so hungry. <laughs> But yeah, um, yeah, this is the look for now. I'm gonna be wearing my wig though. Um, I think that's from next day, but for now I just wanna let the hair rest and all of that. So 
yeah i just want to go on here and just give you a little update and yeah let me show you guys what i'm making I'm making something nice actually so we got the meeting here mm -hmm. oh, this is good got the meeting here it's just frying no water added it's just butter and then we got the white sauce in here because i want to make like some creamy pasta so this is just like um what is this what is this butter and broto and um milk and cream that is what is in here so just to give the macaroni a little bit of flavor and yeah and i also have um potato wedges going on in the oven i'll show you guys maybe when i'm done and so forth but yeah um i'm so excited to eat because i haven't cooked like this in a while and i just feel like i'm starting to get myself back slowly but surely <sighs> yeah so hope you guys will enjoy the video i don't know if it's going to be a vlog or if it's just gonna end here or whatever the situation is gonna be but yeah guys so the macaroni is ready um the creamy macaroni is ready and it tastes so good i wish you guys could actually taste it because it tastes so good just literally so dreamy mm. Mm. this is our dream smile very nice and juicy um yeah so we're just waiting on the potato wedges to be ready and then we're gonna have this dinner okay okay guys so the food is ready this is how this looks like just lamb creamy pasta or creamy macaroni and then potato wedges um i'll put kare's rating right here <laughs> As to how he bends the food, if it's nice or not, yeah. Hi guys, so welcome to another day. <laughs> so weird sitting here in front of the camera with short hair, really getting used to it, but it's okay. Um, yes, so I wanted to give you guys like a little bit of what has been going on, but before I get into that, I'd like to apologize for the background noise that you'll be hearing in, a, in this video. I'm at work, so you'll be hearing a lot of cars and um, maybe it's cleaning in the background also it's cleaning the other rooms there so you'll be hearing a lot of that and maybe if there are patients that come in i'll have to assist them so you'll be seeing like a lot of like maybe i'll be cutting the videos here and there or whatever yeah so um, the video is a little bit rough i apologize for that so yeah let's get into the video in this part of the video so i i was filming you know the little vlog that i had the clips that you guys saw before this and i just realized that you know my energy is so down and i guess it's because i guess it's because of what has been happening um yeah so i wanted to give you guys like a little run through of what has been going on so that you guys can understand me or can understand where I'm coming from not that I feel the need to explain myself rather just you know give you guys like a little update or yeah because you guys are also friends you know so um yeah so my energy has been down for so many reasons and I had not realized that or yeah I had not realized that until there were kids that were here and had come to see the doctor and they were the hero kids, the hero scholars, they in school, so they were talking, 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 and I had overheard the conversation, you know, and they were talking about 
um, YouTube, right? So I told my colleagues, right, if those kids ask if I'm a YouTuber, just say no, right? Just tell them that I'm not. And then, and then we, oh, then we went to, to the shops and then when, when we were on our way back, the kids approached us and they were like, sorry, auntie, um, but are you a YouTuber? I literally said, no, I'm not. <laughs> I literally said no I'm not and I felt okay in that moment um, and then after a few hours later I started feeling bad I was like yo I really said that I'm not a YouTuber to these kids and it hit me in mind that maybe I'm not okay I'm not in a space of you know doing this YouTube thing anymore or whatever not anymore per se but during this time because there's, there's a lot going on I, I'll get into that a few, in a few minutes yeah so i felt bad that's when i realized that hey i'm actually really drained and um i'm just tired i'm just not in the mood for this i felt bad so i just wanted to say that for those kids that saw me here you and this doctor yes i am a youtuber <laughs> i am a youtuber so yeah i just wanted to get into that and just start off and get into this whole thing so um majorly um Majorly, my dad is not okay. Yeah, so my dad has been in the hospital for like I don't even know how long. My dad has been in the hospital for. In the beginning, when he went into the hospital, I had thought that it's something that he can easily go through, you know, because he has been in and out of hospital for some time, and um, so I thought that he's gonna go through this thing and also come out of the hospital. So. I was okay, not okay per se. I was it was difficult hearing the things that he was going through. Family knows what is going on, so um, it was difficult um, hearing and and seeing him in the condition that he was in. And um, so I had thought that I'm just gonna continue with YouTube. <laughs> like life is normal, like life is fine, but life is actually not fine because. It's my dad, you know, that is not okay. So, um, I feel like I tried to be so strong such that after some time, I could not act strong anymore. Like, I would break down and all of that and all of that. And I would cry. I would have days where I'm not even in the mood for anything and all of that. And I realized that, you know, because it has been going on for so long, I have become emotionally and mentally tired and i can't and when i'm vlogging and all of that i can see that my energy is literally not 100 percent so <laughs> so i realized that you know i've just been putting a face on like you know yeah, let's do life you know life has to go on we have things that need to get done and all of that and then until i reached like a point where i'm just so tired even physically I started becoming tired like physically you know I don't know what that is like the thing of you're mentally and emotionally tired such that it's manifesting itself physically like I would be so tired you guys I would sleep my life away I would you know so that that is one of the reasons why I haven't even really been consistent you know because it's just that part of my life that is affecting all the other parts of my life so much and I did not realize that I'm being affected that much and yeah so <laughs> did not expect myself to get emotional so that's the situation um that has been going on that really has been affecting like you know my my running life you know so he said i went to see my dad and he seems to be doing better i don't know it's just prayers now and you know you guys what is funny is that during the time when my dad was going through what he was going through he's still going through that but like when it was really bad i could not pray i could literally not pray you know you would want to pray i would want to pray and then you know you'd start the prayer dear lord and then i would not have anything to say because it was so difficult it's just like you pray, you start praying to your Lord, and then it's just tears. Like, it was so difficult. It was, it was a lot. And I'm just really grateful for Kade. Hi, baby. I'm really grateful for him because I just feel like he has really been the only one that really understood what I was going through. Even though in everyone else's eyes, I was just putting a face on him. Mm. Mm. 
and even when people would be crying i'm just there like you know <laughs> i don't know um yeah so i'm just grateful for a partner where i can be i'm for, i'm grateful for a relationship whereby i can be vulnerable in and that's a whole other situation like yeah so that's that that's that so that my dad not being okay has really affected me hi doc how are you so that was doctor anyway so yeah that has really affected my dad not being okay has really affected my way of life and how i'm thinking i could not even think for a while i could not i could not do anything it's like i was mentally paralyzed i think i could not do anything i could not even get myself to writing down my plans for youtube even i'm entering september right now we are in september already and i have no idea what i'm doing for youtube usually i pre-record videos for the following month and then they just upload and then i start planning for the following month and i haven't done that but that's really majorly the only reason why i haven't been you know as consistent as i usually am on youtube and i thought i was like you know you know youtubers usually go go through that phase whereby they're just tired of like vlogging or creating content rather they just want to take a break and all of that but that's just not what i was going through i figured that perhaps what i'm going through is because not perhaps i figured that what i'm going through is because that my dad is not okay so it's just affecting my way of life really and you know when someone when someone that you love and care for so much with someone that is your pillar someone that is your rock really is is not okay you are obviously going to be affected so it took me a while to understand where i was mentally and emotionally what it is that i was feeling processing my feelings and i'm just glad that i'm putting it out there now because i'm able to talk about it and i figured it out and i'm okay i'm somehow okay so getting back into the things now into the youtube things so um okay so another mental thing that has also been happening or that i've been fighting really hard is that um at the beginning of the year not the beginning of the year rather i think in december you know before you approach the new year you you have those goals that you set for yourself that you're going to achieve this or you're going to try and achieve this so that you know you don't so that i mainly did that for myself so that i don't float throughout the entire year because i know that in 2022 i was just floating i was just going through you know i was just like a leaf and then when life blew me in this direction i'll just i'll just go i'll just go with it so this year i wanted to have like a little bit of more control of my life and i set goals that i wanted to achieve for this year right so one of the targets that i had for this year was that i i wanted to achieve or i wanted to grow the channel right and reach 6000 subscribers that was the target the target was 6000 subscribers and oh oh thinking about it right now i'm even having um goosebumps all over my body it's like my body is becoming not goosebumps but i think my body is becoming like so weak <laughs> i think my body is becoming weak and um just at the thought of like achieving 6000 subscribers my body is growing so weak um i think that's called i don't know if it's called creeping anxiety or i don't know what it's called but i think i'm having like anxiety at the thought of having achieved or having to achieve 6000 subscribers which is like one of the targets that i had for the channels for the channel yeah so i think because now that i'm own less than 50 subscribers away from 6000 subscribers i just with i retract also i retracted and um just so that i probably don't reach 6000 subscribers it's like i'm i'm playing myself mentally I, it's like i'm what do you call it i'm limiting myself i don't want to reach 6000 subscribers because 6000 subscribers are supposed to be for december and we're only in september and i'm about to reach 6000 subscribers so it's just like it's crazy it's really crazy it's out of out of this world so i'm really grateful for all the people that have subscribed to my channel people that are watching this right now love you guys so um yeah so i just figured that why am i limiting myself i must just continue creating content so that i can even reach more number more so that i can even grow the channel have more numbers and then we'll see how that is going to go so yeah so there's also something that i want to do um i don't know if i'll be able to do it end of this year perhaps you guys will only know about it next year so um 
and it's all thanks to you guys so we will definitely i don't want to talk much into it because then it'll give you a hint but i don't want to i have so many things that i'm working on right so i don't want to keep this information to myself or that part of the information to myself because it's all thanks to you guys right so um you guys will only know about it next year so hopefully by god's grace if god decides to keep us until next year <laughs> um yeah so so many exciting things for next year and that is really exciting for me i don't know but yeah so yeah so we are on the road to 6,000 subscribers it's crazy it, it is out of this world and it's your con con constant love from me for the con content that we're creating and just the you gang you guys are amazing you gang you gang is amazing it's out of this world i did not expect to be here i really never expected to be here so yeah so speaking of the you gang i realized that when i started creating content around kade people would really love that type of content um and i started creating content a lot around my boyfriend and so now i realized i sat back and i realized that no we're not gonna do that yes we are gonna create content with kale but not every content has to be around him you understand so i'm gonna be creating content as well that is um just me in front of the camera even though kale will be there in the background it's majorly gonna be me yeah hold on there's like um there are some sit down videos that i want to do um and just be you know free and just talk to you guys not that i'm not free with Kyrie. sometimes you know because he's there you feel awkward talking because he's just gonna look at you. i don't know but like yeah i need to get comfortable creating content alone once more that's what, all i'm trying to say so i'm gonna be creating content i know that you guys love content around Kyrie, but like i'm also gonna be creating content wherever it's just me alone okay so um <laughs> i've written down a few things here so so you guys we have come to the end of the video um hope you guys enjoyed what it was about um yeah so just wanted to let you guys to reel you guys in as to like what has been going on in my life why i am i am not posting as consistent as i as consistent as i usually do but she used she do that <laughs> yeah so just so you guys can just understand where this i'm coming from and why my energy is off in videos and so forth so yeah keep a look out for the following video it's gonna be a first time tag so you guys can understand could not can understand rather but so you guys can know our first time it's kind of a nice first time <laughs> i'm so excited for that video um yeah so we'll see you guys in the next video like comment share, subscribe join the new gang because you're not part of the new what are you okay okay bye